I think multiculturalism uh, is a phenomenon that is much responsible for some of the anti uh, immigration sentiment we see in our in our society today. That's Ed Gillespie, corporate lobbyist turned Republican Party chairman. He may be Virginia's next governor, and our president endorsed him in a tweet. Long before he threw his name in the race for governor, Gillespie attended private Catholic school in D.C. While studying there, Gillespie got his first job in politics, a Senate parking lot attendant. I learned how to park large cars in small spaces. Florida Democrat Andy Ireland offered 22-year-old Gillespie an internship in 1983. And just one year later, Ireland switched parties. Gillespie followed. When Ireland refused Gillespie a top staff position, he went on to work for House Majority Leader Dick Armey. And it's I am sad. so damn glad that you could never be my wife, because I surely wouldn't have to listen to that battle from you every day. After 10 years with Army, Gillespie joined the good fight. He started a lobbying firm protecting the rights of big business. One of their first clients? Enron. Enron paid Gillespie's firm to help secure over $250 million in tax breaks. Meanwhile, Enron was doing the thing Enron is famous for. The biggest fraud case in American history, where thousands of employees lost hundreds of millions of dollars in retirement and savings accounts. Gillespie's firm lobbied for Tyson Foods, securing their rights to pollute Virginia's waterways. Despite Gillespie's hard work, Tyson ended up paying a $4 million settlement for violating the Clean Air Act. Our lakes and our, and our rivers uh, are part of our, uh, their assets uh, to us here in Virginia. After receiving millions in lobbying fees, Gillespie became chairman of the RNC and worked as a White House counselor to George W. Bush. He ran for Senate in Virginia in 2014 and lost narrowly, but got support to run for governor in 2017 and secured the nomination. He now faces Democrat Ralph Northam. The two are in a heated neck and neck race for the seat. What is this guy doing? Where did he get his driver's license, Kmart? If Gillespie gets into power, he plans to defund Planned Parenthood and go even further. I would like to see uh, abortion be banned because I think it is the taking of an innocent human life. Gillespie proposed a tax plan that would give the top 1% 48 times more money than the average middle class Virginia family. But he also cares about some really important issues too. Here in Virginia, our fireworks are pretty rinky-dink. But now Gillespie is lighting a different, more baseless fire in 2006 Gillespie called anti-emigration oratory a political siren song. Now he's putting out ads like this. MS-13 is a menace. Yet Ralph Northam voted in favor of sanctuary cities that let dangerous illegal immigrants back on the street, increasing the threat of MS-13. Ralph Northam will take our statues down. Ed Gillespie will preserve them. I'm for keeping them up, and he's for taking them down. And that's a big difference in November. Gillespie was an architect of Red Map, the highly partisan Republican effort to control congressional redistricting a decade ago. His party will still benefit from the very gerrymandered maps that he helped construct. Win or lose, Republicans will thrive.